morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all today? I hope everybody's feeling blessed and thankful for each and every day. I hope you're getting up, getting out, and getting something. Even if it ain't nothing but some sunshine and some fresh air. For sure. I am sitting here today. It's like I'm late getting up. <laughs> I get up every day at 6 a.m. I take my medicine sometimes. I, well, most of the time I get up and I make myself breakfast. And if I got the grandbabies, I make their breakfast and we kick it. But today, let me tell y'all. It's been one of them days where you don't feel like yourself. <laughs> you can tell and read in my voice. I just don't feel like myself today, you know? Uh, I got up. I took me the best bubble bath ever. I've sat in the tub for like 30 minutes. I use a bath bomb. I use my son's bath salt that smells so good. And I used a Quake bubble bath. And I love to be immersed in the smell, the, the feel of the bubbles and the bubble baths and the bath salts. It just feels relaxed and it just feels special, you know? I like that feeling. But anyway, this is Mama Roxy says I'm here for your wallet, your purses, and your pocketbooks, baby, your hearts, and your minds, for sure. Yeah, it's a little under the weather today. I don't, I told y'all before, I don't know if it's my sinuses or if it's a cold. I have not lost no sense of smell, no sense of taste. I don't have a fever. I don't, um, any of that stuff. I don't have none of that stuff. It's just my sinuses are draining and my throat is dry. But I make sure that I drink a lot and lots of fluids. I make sure that I take me some type of, um, medicine to uh, make sure that I stay right I keep up on my vitamins in order that so other than that I've been going through this round for like I think it's been like three days but it started off with draining my sinuses and I get them every every summer never fails but other than that I'm good I've been having my tea my apple cider vinegar uh, some honey and some fresh lemon and a nice tea bag. So that's been doing me good. As far as my energy level is, I'm popping on energy. Yes, I am. But anyway, I'm good. I'm sitting here today. I just got out of my bath. I'm motioning down. I smell good. My skin is soft. So let's start out what I started with. This is what I have on right now. And this is from Bath and Body Works. This is the Golden Sunflower. This is 24 hour moisture ultra sheet body cream made with sunflower seed oil. Net weight of eight ounces. And I, no matter what lotion I wear, because I love that little shininess, the, feel of my skin looking nice and healthy and uh, soft and I always use a Palmer's or I use this Equate Moisture Care Coco Divine Body Oil Gel and it helps give skin a healthy glowing appearance with replenishing moisturizer that's exactly what I need and it comes from Walmart they go to school for it it feels good especially when it's mixed with all the other lotions and the she butters and everything it just gives you this extra feel of softness this extra supple feeling skin this extra moisturizer this beautiful glow that's why i mix them so with that i have this fragrance this is the Body Collagen Beautiful Blossom. It's the fragrance of Miss Apple Blossom and Magnolia Petals. This is eight fluid ounces. This also comes from Walmart. 
and I like the way it smells. I really do. I really stock up on my body collagen fragrances. It's like $4, but mixed with another fragrance or even on its own, it smells the bun. True that. So my next fragrance I picked up when I went to a flea market in Indiana. And this one is 717 VIP. You are exalted to something. And this is what this is. This has a nice mild fragrance that smells very sexy, very mild. It's not as loud as I like, but it's okay. And it smells the bomb mixed with this. Yes, I love to mix my fragrances because they help enhance. It helps bring out the fragrances of different fragrances together and on your body it just it just smells mm. ah. on my lips i have this which i most definitely know that i got it from the dollar tree it's the la cover glam gloss sheer moisturizer lip gloss which was picked up at the dollar tree nice little shine it's thick nice shine to it nice and thick feels good on the lips I like that and I'm also wearing this I really wasn't at first a person that was the spray person I was the the roll-on type or I used to use mums remember that where you would stick your hand in there and you apply it up under your arms I, I used to like that but I never was a fan of the spray you know but lately since I found this at City Trends I really like the fragrance it lasts for a while and this is the moisturizing the moisturizing cream cocoa butter green tea scent go fresh and it smells so good I like that it feels nice up under the arms i don't have that see it's just a little bit of fragrance right there not much and it doesn't transfer over onto my clothes so i like that you know what we came here for today i'm trying to make the videos where they're not as long but let's get into some skincare today as well uh, facial skincare let's do that this right here, this is the Neutrogena Deep Cleaning Purifying Peel Off Mask. Peels away skin impurities, uncarved pores, and reveals soft, healthy looking skin. Net weight is 0 0.35 ounces. This, I feel like I needed that today because I have, I have been wearing makeup for a little while lately and I'm moving all over the place. And I just needed to have a good mask today. So, let's see how this works. And I got my little uh, mask applicator to help with it. Let's see, I don't know. Yeah, it has a real loud smell to it. That's the color. It's like a green, minty looking, aqua, no, aqua green. The same color as the uh, packaging. This looks to be a little messy. <laughs> so let's try this. Goes on so much easier with the spatula instead of having a usual finger. You can find these spatulas anywhere mask applicator uh, your mask this one comes from the Dollar Tree the smell is okay it's not that overwhelming like you, some of you want to call stay real strong but this one is not as strong So, I'm going to come back and apply this so the video don't be long. You see how it goes on. It goes on nice and 
nicely. You have to work with it, and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, you guys. Here I am. This is what it looks like on. It goes on nice and easy. Even if you apply it with your finger, um, it goes on nice. I like using the spatula because it's less of a mess. But as you can see, it's still messy, regardless to how you go. The smell is nice. It's not overbearing. Uh, it feels nice on the skin. I have to wait for it to dry. And to tell the truth, I still got enough of left over for maybe a second application. And it says you will leave on about 20 minutes. So, I'm not going to chit chat with you guys for no 20 minutes about this. And it will come right back when it dries. i see you in a minute. All right, y'all. I'm back. <laughs> this is what it looks like after 20 minutes. It's actually been 25. And it is peeling up a storm. Oh, my goodness. I like it. Look at that. Oh, I like the peel. It's not pulling none of my hair out. I put a nice amount on there to make it even, you know? Look at the skin, though. Can you see it? nice and soft and smooth my pores were acting up yesterday i saw them all over the place and you really they kind of closed and clean today oh wow i like that so honey i do recommend most definitely i recommend look at here nice peel I say once you, when, to me, when you use the spatula, you don't have to. But to me, when I use the smash spatula, the makeup, I mean, uh, uh, the mask spatula, it goes on evenly. I can kind of even, even it out and get a real good peel off of it. And the smell was not extremely strong. But it was, it had, did have a little smell, not nothing overbearing or anything. But it left my face looking very nice. I like that. Nice, nice, nice. I do recommend. I picked it up from the Dollar Tree. I have seen them at Walmart as well. Look at that. Goodness gracious I like that but I do recommend you guys this is the Neutrogena peel face mask you gotta watch it when it get to your hair area but it's not so strong where it's actually pulling my hair I've even had it on top of my eyebrows and it did not it didn't pull the eyebrows like and this is what it looks like, you guys. I hope you guys like the video. Please like and subscribe. I do recommend each and every product that I've showed you. So I love you guys. Please enjoy. Tell me what you think. Have you been trying masks? Have you been doing your own little skincare routine? I am when I I'm gonna say this when you get a mask and it's like you got it attached to your hair area your hairline or whatever you can kind of scrape it with your nails but if you have real thin hair right there don't pull just go get you a towel and wet it and do it like that but I most definitely recommend this is what this looks like and I got a, enough in there for a second little facial I don't know how much of it but i'd like to have put a lot on there to get a even mask to make it and then let it dry all the way in that way the peel was kind of easy except for the little stragglers that get right caught right here in the little hair area so i'm kind of scraping if you can see it y'all hear my fan that's what you hear that's in my window so i really hope that you can hear me but once again, it's the Neutrogena. And I do recommend all my little products that you see me using. 
I really do think. But I love you guys and I will see y'all later. Ciao.